since its founding in 1929, the Acting Academy at Los Angeles City College has established itself as one of the most respected professional theater training institutions in the United States. This two-year program is a full-time exploration of the skills necessary to compete in a theater, television, and film career. Guided by a faculty with a vast range of experience in the industry, the students are provided fundamental skills in acting, movement, voice, scene study, dialects, and makeup. Past theater alumni include Alan Arkin, Morgan Freeman, Clint Eastwood, Robert Covarrubias, Donna Reed, Paul Winfield, Cindy Williams, and Mark Hamill. Could this new class be the stars of tomorrow? Let's see. Let's return now to the audition. We go to the office of the chairman of the department. Sebastian, 
You see, because I want you in this program. I want to be in this program. And I want you in this program. You see, we're, we're, we're headed towards the same end. Uh, but you need <laughs> to find a place to live. Consider it done. Yeah, so, you see, because I, I once knew an actor. Uh, you may know him now, but back then he was known as Shel Steinberg. Uh, <laughs> Shel thought that the bohemian life, the, the, the living on the street like a gypsy, was really the way to approach <laughs> one's craft. But you see, in those days of him living in a dumpster, he couldn't see the postcard that I had sent him saying, please come to the circle of the square, we'll study together, I've got an in. You see, he never received that card, so he never received proper theatrical training. Well, I'm not living in a dumpster, I'm living in a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> yes, well, it's uh, nearly the same thing, but please let me finish. Uh, you see, but, but he, he went out and he tried to act and he tried to act and he couldn't. He couldn't. And do you know what happened for that man? No. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> do you see my point? Yes. Think about it. If I live in my car, absolutely nothing will happen to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Now you go find a place to live. Does that mean I'm in the program? If you find a place to live, then we'll see what we can do. Okay, I'll find a place to live. Thank you. It, Thank you. Is that a promise? That's a promise. Now, I, I bear these deeply, bear these deeply in my soul. A promise made must be kept. Um, and if you can't find any place else, I do have a modest pool house behind mine. You can stay there if you want to. Oh. Uh, I'll talk to you. Oh. Okay. Thank you. We go to the nearby Subway sandwich house. There, Ernie and Ricky are reminiscing about the audition process and talking about guy things. So I guess, uh, I guess we got in. Yeah, totally, man. <laughs> you, you don't do that very much, right? Ah! So, uh, you look like a big uh, football guy. What are, you, what are you doing in the acting thing? It's actually it's kind of funny you asked me that because I actually just took the class because I thought it was going to be an easy A to keep my scholarship. <laughs> right? No, but this is hard. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, like a two-year program. Yeah. yeah. What, what, are you, what are you doing here? Uh, well, after I graduated, uh, I moved out here and I lived in, with my Uncle Mike above his bar, the hole. You ever been there? Probably not. Are you 21? No, me neither. <laughs> anyway, I live up there and uh, just like right around the corner from campus. So I was like walking by one day and I was like, oh, lucky penny. <laughs> well, it's tilt! It is tilt up. Anyway, uh, so I was like, walking by one day and uh, I found a leaflet on the ground. I'm talking about it. Here I am. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Uh, so uh, you see that uh, tail in there? Is that what they say in football? You see that girl? She looks, she looks just like Miley Cyrus. Which one? Which one? The one with the big curly hair. Uh, Chelsea? That's the one. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. You want to hit that? I want to hit that. You want to hit yeah. that? You want to hit that? I, yeah. <laughs> so is there going to be some trouble between us? What? <laughs> you actually think that if there was some trouble between us, did you guys actually do anything about it? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> um, look, I, I know you, you read a leaflet. <laughs> good, good for you! <laughs> Ow. And, uh, but I'm a finely tuned athletic machine. And I am a finely tuned machine of poop. <laughs> How about this then, Ricky? We see who gets it first. How about this then? Uh -huh. We see who gets each one first. Whoa! All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're on, Ricky. Welcome to Acting Academy. And loser does a monologue naked. Done. <laughs> Done! <laughs> yeah!
find Chelsea and Rod waiting for a bus to take them to their homes.
real actress. You need to starve for your art. Don't do commercials. Oh. Yeah, you should be embarrassed. A Very bit. embarrassed. <laughs> We go to the home of Chairman Sebastian Reinhardt. It's late at night, and there's a knock at the door. Look at the knock, knock, knock. of the house, yeah, merely because I want everyone who comes in to be relaxed. Is that a real gold Buddha? Oh, well, yes, it is. I, uh, I technically, I bought it on a little shop on La Brea, but really I had it smuggled out of Myanmar. <laughs> I, uh, I have a few friends who uh, made connections back in the 70s. Uh, do, do you like it? It's 12 feet tall. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I actually had to have the ceiling raised several feet just to accommodate it, but, uh, I think it really ties the room together. <laughs> uh, no, no, and over here I have my nook de memorabilia. Of <laughs> 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 Just uh, tchotchkes and keep 
namesakes of my many, many parts that I participated in here in Los Angeles. Is that you with Charleston Heston? Why, yes, it is. Uh, if, if you remember correctly, um, 90 minutes into Earthquake, I was a panicked man who fell down the stairwell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he grunted at me. Uh, I learned so much yes. from that one. Uh, 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 yes, that is William Shatner. Yes. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, you remember for a room called T.J. Hooker? Yes, yes, I yes, do. They had me play a Latino as part of a white man, Latino man, black man crime triad. <laughs> <laughs> he chased us on the hood of our car. It was very exciting. And Ernest Borgnine's right there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, drunkard. Really? <laughs> Shh. But don't tell. Yes, yes, yes. I. Oh. It's a funny story. Uh, I, I, I had sort of a lost weekend with his, with his, his wife. Um, you see, she produces wine. Uh, few people know that, but um, it's, it's, it's Tova Borgnine wine. It's quite good. Um, and, 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 and we were in the sipping room one night, decanting. And, um, well, let's just say the wine wasn't the only thing fermenting. <laughs> but enough about me. Uh, we could go on for hours. We could go on for hours. Yes, we could. We could go on I love listening to your story. Yes, it's so interesting. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let's get down to brass tacks. Uh, pull up a chair. Now, uh, you see, uh, I, I'm willing to give special people whom I have implicit trust in. You um, think I'm special? Well, yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Uh, the pool house is a special place, but it is also an important place that requires a certain amount of, uh, how shall we say, discretion. Case in point, I had a friend who had a, uh, a tenant living in his pool house. Let's, let's call him uh, Cato. And uh, <laughs> my friend was out doing some night golfing. And um, <laughs> his friend Cato told the police that um, he had been running about in a bit of a panic, discarding gloves and Bruno Mollies and such. And it really it landed him in a whole lot of trouble and he couldn't be seen in Brentwood again, frankly. And I don't want that happening to me because it would merely destroy property values in the neighborhood should I be leaving. Not to worry, I don't play golf. No, oh, good, neither do I. <laughs> but seriously, um, there is a small matter at the school uh, involving some academic censure of my letting female students stay on my premises. Um, I guess they felt maybe I was giving them an unfair advantage, uh, you know, employing my tutelage in their direction. And if you were to stay, uh, mom would have to be the word. So I can't invite anyone over? No. No parties? Mm, well, no. Uh, well, I'm just so grateful for the space. You know, it's, it's, it's much better than the Toyota Corolla. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and about that, uh, you'll have to park that where it can't be seen. Uh, it's, 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 it's a Japanese car in this neighborhood. And uh, unless it has a big L on it, I don't think it will be accepted. <laughs> It's good the next morning. The students are there at the theater, waiting for their first class. It's Pantomime. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh
Alman. My name is Marcel Alman. Say my name. Marcel Alman. 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 Okay. Lineup, please. Straight line, please. Forward. Just a straight line. Don't hurt. Go here. It's fine. It's fine. Make a straight line. Tense. Relax. Breathe. Breathe. Flat through your mouth, through your nose. Oh, nice. Good. Good. Relax. At ease. Okay. Pantomime. Anyone take pantomime? You have. Excellent. You too. Good. saying well. It's using your body, using your instrument. <coughs> an actor is different artist, you see, because like an artist, he has paints, he has brushes. A sculptor, he has stone or clay. A musician has yeah. instruments. the instruments, yes. <laughs> and a piano would work too, yes. <laughs> but This is his instrument. <laughs> this is his tool. This is how he expresses himself. By knowing this and knowing yourself, you become a great artist. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good. So, give yourself a little space. No, 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 please. Oh. I just thought maybe because I was a little bit of this. Find yourself into space. Good. Follow me. The feet. Shoulder length apart. I'm going to count to ten. I want you to start to move slowly down. Slowly down. Control. The heels will come up. Continue to go down. Down, down. At the count of ten, stop. Hold. And then ten up. Ancient art 
Banco meaning to, to, to walk and my meaning to not say anything, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, you need to work this instrument. You need to know this instrument. Very few of you were able to go down and attend and come up and attend. What the hell is that? There are no phones in front of my class. Sorry. Maybe okay. someone's humming. Could be. <laughs> All right. Let's try this one more time. Ready? Together. Feet out, comfortable position. Back straight, looking straight out. On the count of 10, ready to end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next go to Sebastian Reinhardt's class, where all, in, all are in attendance. The class, business, the show business. and self-publicity. 
publicity. Oh, no. Now, let me tell you a little story. When I first got to California, <laughs> I was pretty much a very talented and handsome no one. Mm -hmm. So I did a very special thing. I assembled what I called my dream basket. I got a decorative basket and filled it with the five things that made me happy. Like kittens? Yes, a kitten, a picture of Rod Steiger, <laughs> the Beatles' White Album. Who so, is that? <laughs> that's research for you tonight. And a picture of myself. I then duplicated this basket several times over and sent one to every agent I could find an address for. Oh my gosh! Was the kitten alive? Yes, at first. <laughs> <laughs> and when I didn't hear anything back, I did it again the very next week. And the week after. Tenacity of the pit bull, yes? Shouldn't you just let your talent be out there in the world and await someone to find you because you are more talented than everyone else in the entire city? Yes, and when you're begging for change on the Third Street Promenade, everyone can comment about how talented you are when they slip you a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Join us next week for the Acting Academy when the students have to perform a pantomime. That's all.